<laughs> Hi, my name is Eric, and this is a day in the life of a financial advisor. The reason why I chose this path is I really like the independence and the work-life balance. My father was self-employed, and I saw as a young man growing up the flexibility that he had. My brother and I both played high school baseball, and my dad made every single game. I've been doing it now for about 25 years. I graduated with a degree in business economics at UC Santa Barbara, and then I started my career promptly thereafter. It is important to constantly stay educated to make sure that you have the knowledge and the certification that goes along with that. CFP is a common one. I have a CRPC, Chartered Retirement Planning Counselor. Morning, Nikki. Morning. Uh, give me a minute and then uh, we'll meet up. Okay. Great, thank you. When I come in each day, I quickly check in with Nikki to see if there's anything pressing. And then I go over my schedule, looking at the calendar, checking emails, any voicemails that have come overnight. Today I have a pretty busy day. I have a client coming in at 10, a Zoom at 11.15, and then another client at two o'clock. And then after the two o'clock wraps up, I need to uh, get to the baseball diamond and, uh, and go to baseball practice, which is my favorite part of the day. My clients that are coming in, they're really trying to determine should they try to pay down their home faster or should they remodel or maybe a little bit of both. So that's a lot of the strategies we're gonna discuss today. I think when we last talked to you, we had two different options, remodel and the other one was pay off, pay off the house. I think we've right. gone back to remodel at okay. this point. I don't think we can do both. Remodel is putting a crimp on my ability to retire in the near future, though. <laughs> so we're not entertaining him retiring early. Let's be clear. Let's if be anyone's clear gonna retire, that. it's gonna be me. Okay. Okay. Right? I'd be an awesome house husband. <laughs> Okay, quiz time. Are financial advisors in demand? You'll find out soon in this video. To be clear, the start of your career, you're really, really hustling. You have to put your head down and work long, long hours just to try to make it. The washout rate is pretty high. You need to have some thick skin and you always have to be willing and able to learn new things. Things are always evolving, of course, with the stock market new trends, new industries, new sectors, rise and fall. New regulations, you have to keep in track of uh, what's going on in Washington, D.C. and how that impacts your clients. And that's always evolving as well. Okay, so my next meeting will actually be via Zoom. It's a client that I've had for many, many years and she lives all the way in, in Reno. She's covered in snow, so I like to get face-to-face -face meetings uh, whenever I can, but sometimes it just makes a lot more sense to do Zoom, so away we go. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead. Get up, get up, get out of bed. Love it. And so you, you did that dance just a few days ago for the Widows Group. Your energy is infectious. All right, well, thank you. Great to catch up with you and uh, and keep me posted on everything that we talked about earlier. All right. Okay. Good. You look good. He's as, a good boy. As, <laughs> your other son, right? Certainly one of the more interesting aspects of this career is clearly we're involved with a lot of big milestones in their lives, right? And Nancy's a perfect example. We've owned two homes in our lifetime. She was there. She was an integral part of, of our boys being born. It's really makes this career so unique and so special that there's that dynamic and it, and it goes both ways for both the advisor and the client. <laughs> in order to really provide top-notch full service for our clients, it really starts here with the staff. That's why we're constantly engaging and interacting with each other and idea sharing for strategies that might help all of us out. How much does a polar bear weigh? <laughs> Enough to break the ice. Ah, oh, clever. That's a bad joke if I ever heard one. <laughs> clever. It's more where that came from. Certainly the, the best part of this job on any given day How are you? is when you engage with a client or a client reaches out to you to share with you some good news. And so it's critical that you have those listening skills where you really hear them and you can really empathize with what they're saying. So how's Anthony doing? How's he doing at school? The good news is we don't have to worry too much, you know, financially for him. We do have some uh, accounts, as you know, that you helped set up and mm -hmm. you worked with him on. I enjoy that. I enjoyed really melding and putting together some of his interests, uh, clothing lines, gaming, et cetera. And there's actually palpable ways to invest in those things. And so those things that he's using and enjoying every day, he can actually you know, make a few bucks off of it. Knowing that you're the person that they're coming to 
with their question or situation, there's really not anything really more rewarding than that. One suggestion I do have for those who are getting started is maybe consider starting with a big Wall Street firm to really get the training, to get the credentials, to get the education that's required and, and allow them to nurture you along your way. You can certainly retire with one of those Wall Street firms, or you may make the decision like I did at some point in your career to go independent. And that really opens up a, a wider platform for your clients and it gives you more ownership in your actual business. You really have to work, you really have to build out that network. If you have a challenge building out that client base, it's not gonna be the career for you, frankly. So make sure that's your focus to have that network of people that you think you could onboard as clients and really develop your practice from there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. However you normally greet them and then get into that. <laughs> Me lady. <laughs> Did you get that? Can you guys come back tomorrow? I'm finally getting my groove. Oh my